Wow, I do have right now two people here. Uh, Maria Moran, it's been a pleasure. And also I do have Alexander and Kathy. Hey, good night, guys. How are you? Good night. It's been a pleasure Hi, to thanks. have you here. Yeah, finally. Hey. Okay. <laughs> How are you? you listen to me? Yes, I can listen to you. At the beginning, okay. your microphone was mute, but now it's good. It's good. I can listen to you very well. What about okay. you? Can you listen to me as well? Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's that's cool. cool. Woof. Very yeah. good. You know what? We have two girls. Well, with me will be three. <laughs> and one boy, Mr. Alexander. Hi, Alexander. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thanks. Hey, oh my God. Oh my God. We have a lovely lady, Miss Kathy Monterosa. It's been a pleasure. Oh, also, Mr. Fabio is here. Hey, Gabby, where have you been, my girl? Hello. Uh, Nice to Good see night. you. Again. Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah. Finally, <laughs> Gabby was one of my students, like uh, I think it's three models ago, right? Around three models. Yeah. Yeah, kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah. I was almost so happy that I have her back. Oh my God. I don't know how many we are so far, but um, well, well, I no. I, I cannot say that because Alexander is not the only guy anymore. Mr. Fabio already joined today's class. So, uh, Good evening. Yes. Good evening. It's been a pleasure. Can I see your happy, beautiful face? Uh, of course. Uh, thank <laughs> you. Yes. yes. Hello? Oh, my God. Yeah, we have another handsome man here. That's good. <laughs> thank you. Very good. Hey. Are you still working, sir? No, no. I'm already home, but... I will have to get out in a few minutes because I have to uh, go to my girlfriend's house to 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 have dinner. To left to left here there. Oh, because, so you yeah. gotta you gotta go and pick her up no, or or, yeah. or take her there. Take take the uh, take, the, it, take my it. girlfriend there. Okay, that's okay. Not a problem. I understand that. Well, you know what? Well, I will it, be I will be connected listening. If I can participate while I'm driving, I will. <laughs> of course. Oh, you know what? There's another uh, option that maybe we can try it on. Let her, you know, what, honey? Please wait until 9, 8 p.m. that the class will be over. <laughs> so after we that, I, <laughs> I can, yeah, try. I can take you home. Uh -huh. That would be awesome, <laughs> yeah. That's the second option, right? But the first okay, one is valid too as well. <laughs> I will try that one, but... I don't know. Maybe she can. Yeah, at least you have two options. Number one or number two. Which one yeah. she prefers, right? <laughs> but I'm so happy that I have a lot of people here. That's amazing. We're going to have so much fun. But don't ask Gabby, but um, I'm a happy to hear, but at the same time, I'm like, right? Right, Gabby? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, and sometimes I'm crazy. Well, the kindness. <laughs> what, Hagari, what do you say? <laughs> you will kill us with kindness. Exactly, yes. <laughs> yeah, I cannot say it perfectly. That's the perfect <laughs> sentence about me. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, I, I got to make you speak, guys. So with me, you got to have two choices. Either a speak or a speak. Which one you prefer? Of course, right? The speak. <laughs> you will have no choice with me. <laughs> it's prevents, right? Ooh, and I'm love I love teacher who loves to speak my heart. And grammar too. I love grammar. So don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be all right with me. But I had to let you know something. Uh, you gotta study every class because every class at the beginning, I'm gonna do a recap. And um, I'm gonna ask a few questions. It could be like direct questions, and direct question. It will be. It could be like a game. I don't know. Anything that comes right to my mind. <laughs> and then hey, you gotta be like ready to answer. Okay. Very good. Okay. All righty, guys. May I ask you something? Well, my name is Sylvia. I'm gonna be your angles mentor for the whole model. And uh, if I just speak faster, please. 
told me, hey, teacher, slow down a little bit, you know, get slow down, girl, right? And I will be slowing it down if you want to do, if you want me to speak faster, I will be able to do it as well. And if you do not understand any explanation of any word that I said or something that I said, <laughs> don't hesitate and say, hey, teacher, what? I, I didn't get it, you know? Okay, so that's cool. Don't worry. I'm, I'm good with that, okay? Uh, communication has to be horizontal, right? No vertical. Horizontal teacher, students to teacher. And um, basically, I'm your friend. I'm your English mentor friend, yeah? It's not like the typical student and teacher, like, no, 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 no. That doesn't work with me. No way. And, um, well, uh, this is a little bit about me, but I said that I wanted to know uh, more about you. And uh, one of the clues here, or the main things here, is that you speak a lot, right? So I want to like a little bit of explanation about yourself. Remember when you started English, like introducing yourself, something like that? OK, so that's what I want from you. Uh, let me double check. Let's start the game. I'm thinking a number between one and 10. Can I have one number, please, Alex? Eight. Close, but no. Can I have another number, please, Maria? Excuse me, teacher. Can I, I, have, can I have a number between one and 10? Uh, a number. Yes, one, one number, yes, from one to 10, yeah. Oh, three. No. <laughs> uh, can I have a number between one and ten, Kathy? Katia, sorry. That's okay, teacher. Um, five. Yeah, you're the lucky girl. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. And Francisco's like. <laughs> All righty, Kathy. So do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, teacher. Uh, my name is Katia Monterrosa. Um, I, I am a teacher. I work in a special education school in Etapan, but I live in Santa Ana. And I work in the University uh, Unicaes too in afternoon. In Metapan only in, in the morning and afternoon in my university. And I am I am single. I don't have children. I am very happy. <laughs> She's single, you know what? Any candidates will be valid. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, very good. That's nice. Hey, another co-worker. How fun, Kathy. Yeah, very good. That's amazing. Hey, I have another teacher here. That's great. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, guys, listen carefully. Because maybe I can ask some questions related to what you're uh, classmates said, right? So you better be careful and paying attention, right? We're going to practice the listening skills as well. Uh -huh. All righty. So I, now we have a number between um, 1 and 20. Can I have one number, please, Gabby? Between 1 and 20. Um, 99. No, no. between no, 1 no, and no. 20. Come on. 19. <laughs> Which one is that? 19. No, but closer. Can I have another number, Marcela, please? Welcome, girl. <laughs> uh, 16. Uh, no. Can I have one number, Francisco Melgari? Seven. Uh, no, but closer. Can I have another number, Alex? 12. Ay, closer. Can I have another number, Maria? <laughs> Nine. No, can we have another number, Henry? Ten. No. Oh. Can I have another number, Roberto? Fourteen. Oh, close. <laughs> can I have another number, uh, Byron? Number five. You don't want to participate, right? <laughs> Can you I have said before it was close for one of the one to ten. No. Someone said seven. It, oh, it was close. <laughs> no, but but there's somebody already said seven, right? Yeah. I think it was Francisco. I think so. 
You can have another number, Byron. Please so both, try. Uh, out of the 10. 17? Nah. Or 16? And they already said 16. Oh, come it's on. 15. What? 15? 15. One five? No. 13. Who said 13? <laughs> Who said 13? Oh my God. Who said 13? <laughs> I say it's 13. Francisco, okay, oh cool, God. you're a Mac and man. Internet. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay, the Microsoft is all <laughs> yours, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name is Francisco Melgar. I am uh -huh. 40, 40 years old. 14. I am a teacher in a bilingual school in San Salvador. Ooh. I live in Santo Tomas, yes. Then I am married, uh, Marcela and me. And coming soon uh, will be 10 years uh, anniversary of marriage. Yay, congratulations. And I like, thank you. I like cook, I like read books, yeah. I like um, travel. And okay. I need to uh, speak English, I need uh, to learn English because uh, I, I I want to speak English with my students. Cool, that's amazing. That is a really great goal, you know. Really, really yeah. good. That's why you're here. It's an important, important goal and for the for my future, for my, for my future, for my present. <laughs> for your future, for your present, yeah, of course. Yeah. For both of that, right? So you love to travel, you love to read, etc. Okay, that's how amazing. Yes. Of course, if not, you won't be able to be a teacher, right? Uh -huh. yes. Teacher, we have to read a lot because we transmit the knowledge that we do have to our students. So that's cool. Excellent. And you know what? It's, it's, it's Karina, me, teacher. You're, you're in the right class. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, teacher. What's what? your name? What's your name? You know what? I said at the beginning of my presentation, come on. Shame on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I entered the, the class later. Later. You were already yeah. here. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. My name is Sylvia, by the way. Sonia. No, Sylvia. Okay. Sylvia. Uh, oh uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. My names rise in three different ways depending on the language you are speaking. For example, in Spanish, it's Sylvia. I already sent in the chat right now. In English, it's like this, with a Y, yeah. right? And in French, mm -hmm. it's like this. Sylvia, so, okay. Do you know the meaning in uh, origin, original language? Sylvia is in Latin language, in the ancient Roman language. Merci. And it's equal to... Um, the uh, 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 tree, uh, many trees. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, oh. Uh, bosque. The oh, bosque. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's why I loved uh, the nature. That could be. <laughs> Very good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Frank. Okay, so sorry, guys, but he, she, he's already been married 10 years, so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, but that's the way it is, you know. Uh, hey, I, I will have uh, 16 uh, years with my husband next coming year. Oh, that's, that's very awesome. Well. Yeah, it's cool. There you go. So thank you so much, Francisco. So now, if stop um, playing with the numbers because nobody will say the right number that I'm thinking about. <laughs> okay, so I want to uh, hurt another girl. Let's start with Maria Moran. What about you, girl? What can you tell okay. us about yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Maria. I live in Santa Ana and I work in Unicais, okay. Universidad Católica. Yes, uh, I work like an, an auditor. And yeah, <laughs> I am uh, 50 years old. No, married. Yes, you don't look like. Yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, I like the English very much, but I have no fluency. It's difficult. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> why? <laughs> you, you don't. You don't have fluency. You speak really good. I like that. I like it. 
At least you're not nervous. That's good. Okay. Now, and I, I like to read books too. And uh, I am married. I, I have 28 years uh, get married. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> wow. And I have six children. Okay. Six? Wow. Yes. How many boys and how many girls? Four, four boys and two girls. Wow. Who's the oldest one? A girl or a boy? What? <laughs> Who's an oldest one? A boy or a girl? It's, it's a boy. He, he, he has he is uh, 27 years old. Ah, he's still young. He's a baby for me. <laughs> yeah, no. <it's, laughs> the the last boy is uh, twelve years old. Oh my God, that is a little baby. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh. That's cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Maria. When you finish um, the presentation or whatever you gotta say, instead of like standing mute, like. Mm, waiting for somebody who asks you something like mm, you gotta say that's it right when you say the, the phrase that's it that means that there's no more to say so don't expect to for me to continue speaking because that's all all right <laughs> all righty so that's cool excellent very good job what about omar gamis hello how are you Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to have you here. I love the color of your hair. I love it by heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you I so think much I'm going to change that. it. <laughs> yeah, it's real. <laughs> yeah, I like so it. Very real. So tell me about yourself. You. Go ahead. Oh, okay, about me. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm 31 years, uh, years old. And I am studying um uh, on the university in in, in te telecommunications engineering for wow. the second years. Oof. Second years, and I well, um I working right now in um uh, uh, um how do you say? Do your best. Do your best. You can do it. Okay, I forget right now, but uh, uh, is um, analyst, inventory analyst. Oh, okay, got it. In a warehouse, in yeah, in, in distribution and um, um, how do you say impressions? How do you say that word in English, guys? Help, Omer. Company. 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 <laughs> thank you. I forget that. Thank you. And and I was working in there for seven years that's cool and that's only them i'm very happy to see to see you and nice to meet you nice to meet you too it's been a pleasure to have you here in the class oh my goodness yeah and you know he's a smart like engineer hmm? like hmm, okay yeah it's very <laughs> difficult but it's too hard to to study this this career ah i can't imagine that yeah, but, but I'm so happy to have you. Thank you so much. You're you're paying attention, right? By the way. Okay. <laughs> just I'm, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Okay, cool. All righty. Thank you, Omar. Let me double check who else. Uh, 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 uh. Byron, what about you, Byron? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can we see your real your your real you? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay, thank you. Just I'm going to put a background because I'm I on my on my room. <laughs> That's okay. It looks like Justin Bieber right now. You see? Huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just teasing you. Hey, I just teasing you. You know what the difference is between joking, kidding, and teasing? Yeah. <laughs> What's it's, the difference? Teasing. Well, teasing is just like making like a job with someone, I think, or. Aha, uh -huh. with someone Pardon? specific. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I'm making jokes, jokes with you. But yeah, if I'm joking, if I'm a kid, if I'm uh, kidding, 
I'm joking in general, right? I'm making jokes for oh. everybody. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, so tell us a little bit um, about yourself. Go ahead. I'm 26 years old. I work in a call center. Um, I've been promoted um, around two months ago. I'm, I'm the new supervisor for the staff. Excuse me. Uh, All right. That was, <laughs> that was one of my goals. I have been with this, comp with this call center for one year. Oh, cool. And I went through some other areas as QA analyst or trainee and then finally I got the the one first as supervisor and I'm waiting for to get to be conferred with the new role and everything. Oh that's uh, cool. I already and my my chief it's until 8 p.m. So sometimes I'm going to be late maybe some for minutes but I'm I'm going I will try to do my best to be here um you better be here yeah <laughs> okay i think that that will be it or if you have any questions or someone you can ask <laughs> oh my god it is cool yeah you know what i had like more than 10 years in experience in a call center so i understand what you're talking about oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely yeah but it's that's cool but i'm trying to do my best to also for that job <laughs> yeah but you you recently been being promoted so that's cool that's yeah. awesome congratulations oh my god so we have a soup here hey. okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely like we're gonna try to develop all the skills guys that um definitely are really important not only the speaking but at the same time the listening that is one of the hardest skills to develop but we're going to do our best so <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna suffer hey i like your background i like it that's much better yeah. very good excellent yeah i'm thinking like in a north or south pole. to feel the aura yeah exactly <laughs> that's a positive attitude man Ooh. very good thank you byron uh what about mr henry monterosa by uh, any any chance henry are you are you like the brother of kathy or no no is oh, our last names are different Oh, My name is Monterosa with, with, with Z, Z as in zebra. And ah. he is Monterosa with S. So it's, it's different last ah. names. But I thought it was like a are, typing mistake. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good evening. My name is Henry Monterosa. I'm 20 years old and I'm a developer, oh a web God. developer. And in this moment, I'm learning Energetic. English because I want to get a better job. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sometimes in this area, mm -hmm. you can take jobs in the in other countries. Mm -hmm. So yes. um, I live with my parents. I have two brothers older than, than me. And I have two pets. And uh, uh, that's all. I don't know. That's all. That's it. That's it. Okay, that's all. That's it. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. So you have a two older brothers. Yeah, I have two, and two older pets. brothers. Uh, uh, dogs or cats? So mix it. Uh, two dogs and one cat. I, I and me too. Pets. Only uh, yeah. three pets. I, that, I have two baby boys and one little princess. Okay. Yay. I love animals by heart. Is it's a strange because normally people think that the cats and the dogs can live, can together, live together, but but my cat and my dogs are they they play. Yeah, together, me and too. And they lie they, down together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Very... You know what? I have the smaller one, Mr. Chestnut. Uh, he forced the cats to become his friends. And by the end, they sleep together, they play together, they they eat their own food and at the same time eat uh, the other one's food as well. So I think my cat, my dogs and my cats will be bilingual because they will talk meow meow and wow wow. Okay, so that's so, cool. <laughs> Excellent that's really job. Cool. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Harry. What about Mr. Fabio? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hey, you already changed rooms, right? 
No, no, it's the same. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. I just, I just changed the, I just changed the phone for the computer. Ah, that's the reason why I have a, a no, clear no, no, image. No, no. Go ahead. <laughs> My name is Roberto Fabiella. I'm an auditor. I work in an audit office in San Salvador, and I like pets too. I have three cats. <laughs> And my sister have have one one dog. Okay. And just one of my cats get uh, get along very well with the with, with my the dog. Sister dog. The other two I not like don't like the dog very much. <laughs> one of them even when he when she sees the dog, she ran to to to, to, to slash him. <laughs> Oops! Yeah, really? So, yeah, oh. really. I don't know why. But she doesn't like anything. She oh my just God. get near and she <laughs> goes very, very angry. Okay. And I don't know what else. I think that's <laughs> neither. You tell us. I think that's all. <laughs> that's that's, that's all. It. That's it. That's very it. good. Very good. But with enthusiasm. <laughs> that's it. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Fabio. You're paying attention, right? Hey Marcia, what about you? Woo! Hello. Okay. Hey. <laughs> nice to meet you, teacher. <laughs> and my name is Marcela. I'm 34. I have a beautiful daughter. Oh. Uh, she's already eight years. I'm a, I'm I'm a supervisor on La Constancia. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm sub sales supervisor in La oh, Constancia. So, okay. I've been working there for uh, four years now, wow. I think. <laughs> um, that's it. That's it. Very good. Thank you. Yes, got married. Yes, I'm not married, but I live with uh, the father of my daughter. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Thank you so much for sharing, Marjay. Hey, Gabby, <laughs> what about you, girl? Um, hi, I'm Gabby. <laughs> um, I am a marketer, but I work as an administrative assistant in Sayapango. Mm -hmm. I am living in San Salvador, and I, I've always loved English, but I lose some fluency and some vocabulary, so I'm learning because I think it's important and also I love the idiom and I'd like to get a better job. Hey, that's cool. Thank you. Yeah, I feel very happy with, with this opportunity and that's it. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to have you back as well. Thanks. <laughs> hey, what about Ana Dimas? How are you, Anita? Hi, teacher. Good hey, evening. good evening. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I, I work at a uh, laboratory engineering. Oh, it's cool. Um, always uh, finish my work at eight o'clock. Wow, okay. And the reason always lay in the class, excuse me, teacher. Oh, that's but, okay. Uh, I want to uh, learn a lot English because in my work is necessary because uh, mm -hmm. all, all specification are in English. English. Um, I live in Cucatancingo. Um, only that. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, hey, very good. Yeah, I understand that. And don't worry. Okay. I have experience okay, in okay. medicine as well, so I understand that. Yeah, but I'm so happy. Don't worry. Even though you you log in um late because of your job, I thank you so much for sharing that information. You're here. And what is important for me, guys, is that you are here. Try to log into the Zoom at class every day. Please try to do your best. I know that some of you have like a really tight schedule, right? 
like Byron, for example, uh, but or uh, like Anita, or maybe um, Francisco, right? Uh, but um, as, as long as you uh, enter, it will be nice because you have the option, guys, to click on the link that was shared with you on the, when they send it to the, the, the information of the model. I think you receive like an email confirmation via your uh, inbox, right? So they send it to you like a link and you will be able to click on the list uh, that will be for all the classes. I, uh, I record all the classes and I upload all the classes every single night. So next day around, uh, right, around 8 a.m., you already have that uh, video record and upload it, right? How, and you will be able to, to check the, um, the previous class, right? However, it's not the same to check it uh, like a video next day that to be in that class, it's totally different because you will have the chance to ask questions or to repeat when you do not understand something, et cetera. So it's really, really important. And please guys, do your best to be every day in class. I beg you to do that because it's really, really important. And one of the things that I like and um, all of you mentioned is that um, you are here not only to develop your skills, but also because uh, I don't know what do you think about that, guys, but I think that if you are bilingual or trilingual or whatever languages you would like to learn, it's better for you. What is better for you? Because it will open many doors, right? To grow uh, personally, but also as a professional, right? right? If you want to have a better job, like what Gabby said, or like to, you would like to grow up in the currently job, like Byron, for example, right? So it's really, really important. Yeah, because, uh, and you know what? I'm a teacher who, I'm sorry if I do have a terrible accent <laughs> that you are not used to it. May I apologize for that? I do not have American accent. I do have a British accent because that's the way to speak English. Uh, but um, that's why I'm trying to uh, slow down a little bit because sometimes it's like, oh, but I will teach you guys the listening part. We're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to have a variety of listening because um, you're used to American accent, but there are a lot of countries who speak English. So you will need to get used to Jamaican accent, to Australian accent, to British accent, right? Because it's not the same. Not only the accent, but at the same time, the word that they use to like uh, talk about the same thing, right? For example, um, let me give an example. Um, how do you say uh, apartamento in English? Apartment. Apartment, yes, Apartment. that's American one. How do you say the same thing in British? Flat. Very good, Anita, flat. In American, flat, is something flat, right? That this doesn't have any form, right? But in bridges, flat is apartment. So when they're talking about that, you, you, you know that they're talking about apartments, right? Or for example, the word suite. Suite in American English, for example, is it, you can also use it uh, to describe somebody's personality, right? Or to, to describe a flavor of something. However, and candy is the candy that we like open and eat it, right? However, in British uh, and also in Australian, sweet, it is both things. Depends on the situation. The candy and the adjective to describe somebody or something. So, so you see, I I'm just giving you an ex a, a quick example, guys. How can vary the meaning of the words or the words that you use depending on who you are talking with. So it's really, really important. And with me, you're gonna learn that, okay? You're gonna learn it a lot. Hey, so of course, I'm, go I'm gonna say hi, thank you for, uh, for joining to this class, Elsie, Anita, Amilcar, and Rigoberto. But let me ask you something, guys. Okay, we're gonna uh, <laughs> play the game, all right? Memory game, hopefully you have paying attention to your coworkers and your classmates, right? Okay, so who said that he's still single? Who said that? Ah, come on. Who said Not that yet. he's still single? Katya. 
Katya, Woo! one point for you, Maria. All right, who said that uh, has around 10 years of marriage? 10 years. Francisco. Francisco. Frank, yes. yeah, very good. Uh, uh, uh. Who said that love pets and actually has uh, three cats? Henry or Roberto? Roberto. Roberto, yeah, because there were also two guys, right? Yeah. Okay, uh-huh. Who said that has uh, two older brothers? Henry. Henry. Henry, yeah. Who said that is um that is a studying engineer? Omar. Omar. Omar, and who else? There's somebody else. Anna. No, Anita. No. No. Oh, she works as engineer or something. Nah. Oh my God. Henry. Henry. Yeah. Henry. Henry? No. I'm not an engineer. Rico Verde no. is laughing like. No. Ah, no. <laughs> no, no, Henry is a developer, right? Yeah, How you okay. see, I'm paying attention. <laughs> All righty. Uh, who said that it works in a lab environment? A lab engineer, Timas. Yeah, Omar, good job. Give it all five. Excellent, <laughs> exactly. Anita, you see, Omar was paying attention. <laughs> all righty very good job excellent all right and let me double check what else i'm gonna say nobody said that is accountant right no oh who works in agostancia by the way as a sepsil marcella yeah. who has been promoted recently to become a supervisor in the call center area i don't know Byron. Yeah, and you know what I like from Byron is that when I when I when I said the description of him, he was like, like a god smile, like it's me, it's me, it's me, like that. Oh my god! Like awkward <laughs> moment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like hey guys, it's me, please. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Excellent, very good job. So you see, guys, we're gonna play a game. Okay, that's cool. One more game to relax, okay? And to start mm -hmm. partying. Yeah, welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, let me double check. If, if This is an easy game. This is an easy game. Have you ever heard uh, the word said, uh, Simon says? Have you heard about that? Yeah. Simon says, yes. yeah. Have you played that before? Yeah. Yeah, ah, yes, I remember that, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> so because because from here to here is the only part that we can see each other right <laughs> so we're gonna like recap okay guys how do you say this in english hair hair, hair. okay hair all right what about this forehead uh, forehead yeah. very good anita forehead what about this Brown. Eyebrows. 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 Okay. Eyebrows. What about this? Eyelashes. 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 Very good, Elsie. What about this? Eyes. Of eyes. course, eyes. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> what about this? Ears. 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 Ear. Ear. Ears. Okay. Very good. What about this? Sorry, no, I know my no. my one is is big. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. What about this? Chicks. 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 Yes, you gotta remember Bob Esponja, Bob Square Pants friend, Sandy Chicks, right? All right, very good. What about this? Chin. 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 Very good. What about this? Lips. And this? Lips. Lips. And this? Lips. Oh. And this? Teeth. 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 Very good. Teeth. Very good. What about this? Neck. 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 Do you remember when somebody will like, they will give you neck. like neck, right? Like that. Yeah. Pick up the neck. When somebody will be fire or something like that, like, all right. Very good. Excellent. What about this? Shoulder. 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 All right. What about this? Shoulder. Back. 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 What about this? Elbow. 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 What about this? Elbow. It's wrist. Wrist. Very good. And this? Wrist. Fingers. Fingers. Yeah, well, those are fingers. fingers, but what about this? 
And this one? Nails. 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 Very good. Okay. We're good. Oh my God, you're so good. Ooh. Congratulations. All righty. So this is going to be the game. All right. You got to pay attention because you got to touch the part of your body that you listened to me, not that you watch me touch. Okay, which is different. So that's one tricky. Okay. The second part is that you got to wait until I say Simon says to change a part of your body, right? Because if I said, hey, your nose, for example, and I didn't say Simon says, and you touch your nose, you lose. Okay. And, of, and also the third thing is that if I said someone said, and you touch the part, the party that's supposed to be, but you take too much time to do that. Like for example, touch your shoulder and you're like, where is my shoulder? I, I, don't, I don't remember. The shoulder is here and you're like, eh, you're wasting time. You lose if you're taking too much time. Okay. All right. So without hesitated, okay. Simon says, touch your back. Sorry, Anita, you lose, you're touching your ears. <laughs> just, I'm just kidding. All right, very good, that's okay. You continue here, but you're not going to play, okay? You stay here, don't worry, Anita, okay. Okay, Simon says, uh, touch your shoulders. Touch your back. Sorry, yeah. Alfonso, you lose. Alexandra, you lose. Kathy, you lose. <laughs> because I said touch your back. I didn't say Simon says, right? <laughs> All right, continue. Uh, Simon says, um, touch your forehead. I need, hey, Maria, what happened? Ah, you lose because you took too much time. All right. Uh, okay, Simon says, touch your hair. Touch your elbow. Yeah, you lose, Henry. And also Alex, and also Marce, and also Omar. I didn't say Simon says, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. What is, who's the winner? I know it is between Byron, Francisco, and Gabby, I think, right? Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, Simon says, touch your ear. Does your nose? Ay, 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 ay. Hello, but you see, they're paying attention. This is competition. It's gonna be really hard. All right. <laughs> hey, what about touch your neck? Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your back. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your mustache. <laughs> Simon says, touch your teeth. Tango? Ah, you're taking so much time, Byron. And also Gabby. <laughs> and that winner is Mr. Francisco. It's been a pleasure. That's cool. That's awesome, sir. Bravo. <laughs> Give me the vibe. You see? You're relaxed, right? Cool. Excellent. All righty, guys. May I ask you something? We're going to start the jungle. Sorry, we're going to start a party, right? Let's get a party. Ooh. All right. Do me a favor. Did you already double check by any chance, as a good student that you are, then that's what I think, right? The platform. Did you check the platform? Yes. No, I Oh, yeah, Anita. Okay. Maria. Yes. Oh, my. Right. Okay, Maria. Maria or Mariah? Oh, all right, I carry you. Okay. All, right. <laughs> all right, I love her by heart. I love her. Okay, so do me a favor. Um, what is today's topic? Do you remember? The, the, the platform. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Relative nouns. I feel that relative pronouns. The relative pronouns. Yeah, I love them. And everybody's like, mm, I hate them. Right. <laughs> yeah, because most of the time the people they don't they don't like um grammar. They say grammar, no way. But you know what? With me, you're gonna love grammar because 
not only you're gonna know the structure and everything and so on, right? I want you guys to look how grammar is really helpful in your daily basis, in your communication, in the way you transmit your ideas, etc. So don't get panicked, Marcy. Marcy's like, no way. No, you're gonna have so much fun and you're gonna log grammar with me. I promise, okay? Very good. Exactly, so relative clauses. Uh, okay, the relative clause, guys, or the relative pronouns, we can use it in a two ways. We can use it as a subject and we can use it as a as an object, right? As a subject, remember the subject is the one who does the action, remember that? And the object is the one who receives the action. Yeah, so cool. So that is one thing. And you know what? What it calls relative class is because it joins two ideas, right? Two ideas, one independent class and the one dependent class, all right? And we use a relative class. A relative class, oh, there's a lot of them. We talk about which, we're talking about whom, we're talking about who, and that, etc. okay? But today we're gonna focus on two. We're gonna focus on who, and we're gonna focus on that, okay? That's the one that we're gonna focus on. And you know what? It's really easy peasy queasy. You don't have to complicate your life. No, not with me, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. not at all. Let me share right now my screen with you, okay? Oh, let me check it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna share right now my screen. Just allow me a couple of minutes. And also do me a favor, guys. If you if you can see my screen, bravo. But if you cannot see my screen, and would you like me to make it bigger? I can make it bigger. Okay. Can you see my screen, guys? Yeah, or no? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yeah. Is it clear yes. for everybody? Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, so uh, as I was explaining to you guys before, the relative pronouns are words like who, which, that, whom, and where, etc. And we use it for what? To connect two ideas in this case. All right, let me highlight this here. Yeah, we're well, gonna use it to connect two clauses or two ideas. They can act as a subject and they can act as an object, okay? I will give you two an example of the two. Um, I want you guys to pay attention on this one first. Let me see, let me change it really quickly. The first one, I have I have lighted J.K. Rowling and she, and you will see why. Um, do me a favor, let me check. Mm. Katia, can you please be so kind to read for me just the first sentence that I put a check next to it? J.K. Rowling, yeah. Rowling is the author. She wrote the Potter book. Very good. J.K. Rowling is the author. She wrote the Harry Potter books. Okay, guys, if you if you can see that, how many sentences do I have in the first column? How many sentences? Two. 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 Okay, in, in the first sentence, I have J.K. Rowling is the subject, right? And I have the second sentence, she, referring she. to J.K. Rowling as a subject as well. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, cool. So if I want, so in this case, if you can see, guys, this is uh, working as a subject because J.K. Rowling or she is the one who is doing the action. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, she's the one who, who, who wrote the Harry Potter books, okay? So how can I use these two sentences and combine it into two, okay? I'm going to use who in this case. Why? Because I'm talking about somebody. Yes. Exactly. The, guys, also you can use that, okay? I had to let you know that. But it's more uh, suitable and more frequently used who or which when you're talking about someone and that when you're talking about something, okay? But you can use both, I had to let you know that. Okay, so if you can see guys, I'm going to use who in this case as a relative class, and I'm gonna join the two ideas into becoming to one sentence. So I said, JK Rowling is the author who wrote the Harry Potter books. One of the things guys, do you understand this one? Is it clear? 
Yeah, in this case, mm -hmm. I, I I need to use who because uh, the relative is a J.K. Rowling. It's exactly, a exactly. We're talking about a person, right? However, uh, and if you can see that, guys, in the first column, we have two sentences and we have two subjects, right? We have J.K. Mm -hmm. Rowling and we have she as a subject, mm -hmm. but it was a pronoun. However, when I join these two ideas in, to become one sentence, when I use a relative clause, I only have one subject. You see that? Is one, yeah. 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 And also guys, mm -hmm. there's another clue that you can identify if that sentence is working as a subject, relative pronoun as subject or relative pronoun as, a, as an object. One of the clue is that if you omit who, for example, in this sentence, it doesn't make sense. Let's read it. J.K. Rowling is the author, wrote the Harry Potter books. Does it make sense without the who? No. I need to use the who, is that right? Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So in that case, the who, it is a, a, the relative clause is, is working as a subject because it's, it's, this one is referring to Mr. J.K. Rowling, who's at, or miss in this case who's actually doing the action. What is the action? Wrote the Harry mm -hmm. Potter books. And in this case, guys, I need the who. I cannot erase it because if I erase it, doesn't make sense. Is that right? Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah? Yes. Like, like water or like horchata? <laughs> like water. Okay, cool. Are you I sure? Have a question, teacher. I have go a question. ahead. Who is the question? Let's let me go back because what, I want to see your what's face. What's the difference? What's the difference between who and whom? Ah, mm -hmm. who is a person? And what is whom? Which is again? Which is uh, again? Who's talking? Sorry, Anita. Who's talking? Is uh, like a destination, a king? A king. Exactly. Oh, okay. so, so, exactly. So in this case, it, it is part of the relative clause, Francisco. However, right now, I'm going to focus on the who and that because are the most common use. Okay. But also, guys, I'm going to send you like an extra material for you to study this. Okay. Because and, and also exercises. I'm gonna send it to you that as well. Um, so it's going to be complete. Don't worry. We're gonna work the four skills. But there will be some classes that we're gonna focus on two or one, etc. Depends on that. Okay, so with the, as a subject, we are clear. Is that right? Let's work it out on and double check as an object. Let me go back and share my screen once again. Oops. All right, what was an object? Let's read it. Uh, who helped me read it? That was Kathy, right? Let me see <clears throat> who else. Da -da -da -na 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 -na. Okay, Alex, what about you? Can you help me read it, please? The first one, if you don't mind. This one, this one, the first one. Object relative clause. This one first, the one that has a check on it. Okay, she's the author. I have interviewed with her. Very good. Okay, exactly. We have two sentences, right, guys? We have two um, subjects, is that right? But in this case, remember what is an object? The object is the one who receives the action, right? Not who does the action. The one that does the action is the subject. The one that receives the action is the object. So in this case, I interview who made the action. It was me, right? Because I made the interview or the, the interview. Who I interview? Somebody. In this case, an outer, right? So in this case, if you can see that, guys, I have two subjects. How can I transform these two sentences and make into one using relative clause, but in this case, as an object? Take a look at the second sentence. Who can help me read it? Omar. Can you please be so kind to help me read the second sentence, please? Okay, she is the author that I 
have interviewed. Very good. She's the author that I have interviewed. All righty. So take a look at these guys. I want to change color right now really quickly. There we go. Okay. I have one subject, right? I have another subject. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. May I ask you, who made the action of interviewing? She or me? Me. 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 Exactly. Me. So who was the object of the action? She. 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 Exactly. Very good. So in this case, if you can see, guys, in the first one, subject, uh, subject relative clause, I don't have two subjects. I only have one. But in the second one, I have two. You see, she is the outer that I have interviewed. Do you see that? Do you see the difference? This is one difference. And the other difference is, guys, that even though I'm using in this case, um, this one, let me check it out. This one, let me write it down. Okay. Even use, even though I'm using a relative clause, in this case, that, right? I can also use who, doesn't matter. But in this case, I can use it or I cannot use it. And even though if I want to use it or I, I, I don't want to use it, doesn't change the meaning of the sentence at all. Do me a favor, Francisco. Read the second sentence with the relative clause, like the way it is right now. Read it. With the relative clause. Yes, yes, like the way it is right now. Read it. She's the author that I have interviewed. She's the author that I have interviewed with. Very good. Now read it, but without, without that. Let's just crush it. Read it and don't don't use the word that. Just read it like the way it is without that. Okay. She's the author I have interviewed. May I ask you guys, is that make, make, that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, right? You yes. can either use it or you cannot use it. So that is another clue to identify if the relative clause is doing the function of a subject or is doing the function as an, of an object. First of all, because you have two subjects, different ones, right? It's not the same subject. Uh, when you are joining the two ideas. And second of all, because if you, if you scratch the relative clause, it doesn't make or it doesn't change the meaning of the sentence. Teacher. Yes, Francisco. When I read the second uh, way, uh, without that, mm -hmm. I think that I need a period between sentence without no. that. No, not really. You don't need a period. Because if you need a period, for example, let me write down something. Let's do right. Let's do something here. Very good. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah. If you said, for example, she is the author, period. What is the question that you might have? The author of what? Right? So the, the, the idea is cut it if you put a period on it. Oh, uh, yeah. You got it? That period must be at the end of the sentence. In this case, it's going to be interviewed. And nobody mentioned that, guys. Come on. You see, I make this one by mistake, by mistake on purpose. Because remember, all the sentences have period, but this one is the only one that was missing the period, and nobody and nobody helped me with that. Nobody noticed the, the missing of the period. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what happened with the punctuation? Uh -huh. I made this make mistake by... I fake it, right? But it's good. You see, you see the difference, guys? You see that it's not complicated at all? It's not complicated, right? Or do it's you have any doubts? But, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, we need to uh, think the difference be between the subject and object. The subject, uh, the, the relative clause, uh, substitute the noun or pronoun. Mm -hmm. But in objects, the relative clause is um, receive the action, the action, receive the action. 
Exactly. And you can either use the relative clause or you cannot use the relative clause and it doesn't change the meaning of the sentence. You see? It's easy peasy queasy like a piece of cake. Hey, I will, I will teach you a lot of idioms, okay? Easy peasy queasy or like piece of cake. That means super easy, okay? Oh my God, Anita, you're like sniffing. Yes, teacher. Do you feel yes. good? Yeah? So, so, I have a flu. Oh, hopefully it's a flu and nothing else. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I, I was, uh, you know what, guys? I was sick. But now I'm happy. I'm okay. Yes, my husband and I. You know what was mm -hmm. the worst thing? Is that every time that I open my door room, because we would need to be separated because we got COVID, right? Both of us. And when I opened the, the, the room, that my two babies, my two do baby dogs, they were like this. Like, hi, hello, good morning. And I can mm -hmm. I see their beautiful faces and I cannot touch them. I cannot hug them. I cannot kiss them because I can transmit the disease. So yeah. I, I will be able to be with them until this coming Saturday. I'm so happy that you cannot imagine. But I have a strict diet that you cannot imagine, guys. Because uh, <laughs> I don't know, but um, I got itchy. You know what itchy is? Itchy, yeah. yeah? So I cannot eat a lot of things. Wow. I'm a really a strict a street a street diet you know what i remember there was like uh i was what's the name of that guy no it was a girl who's passing and said quesadillas quesadillas in front of my house and my two baby dogs they love quesadillas by heart that's the, your, their favorite dessert so i decided to buy one for them and i took a piece of quesadilla right with a cup of coffee and guess what <laughs> you got itchy that. again <laughs> so like oh my god so I think I'm going to lose 40 pounds. Wow. I think so, because you cannot imagine I'm re I have a really strict uh, uh, diet for two weeks. And uh, if not, if not, I can have the itchy for two months. Wow. So I said, I, I better have two weeks and not two months. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to I have to follow the strict diet, but it's for my for my health right so anyway hey guys you know what you see i told you with me time is over it's not a one can you imagine yeah <laughs> that's really fast right right henry right kathy right, right omar right for bye. see you yeah. tomorrow yeah bye bye see you yeah. tomorrow yeah, yeah. I, yes <laughs> okay guys bye. <laughs> kisses have a lovely night bye. 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 Bye.